Hello everyone. You wouldn't believe what just happened. I was virtually halfway through the answers of the November general knowledge quiz and the battery died in my camera. I only hope, I've got a spare battery, but I, so I only hope this one lasts the whole time of the quiz. Otherwise I've got to start all over again a third time. Anyway, this is um, November's general knowledge quiz. Uh, this is Wednesday the 14th of October and I've already recorded the music quiz for November this morning. I'm sitting roughly in the same place as I was before, only difference I've got the curtains now pulled and I can see out of it. It was raining a bit earlier, it's cleared up a bit now and um, all is well. So we're going to press on. So you'll get to see this video on the first Tuesday in November, hopefully. Uh, there's two sets of questions as before in the knowledge quiz. Uh, quiz. Uh, you want a paper, a piece of paper and a pen and write down one to ten and then draw a line and another uh, numbers one to ten. So there's twenty in total but there's two sets of ten. It's up to you which way you write them down. The two themes for this quiz, the first ten questions are about, are about the animal world and the second set of questions are about 60s music. You had the 60s music questions uh, yesterday but these ones are uh, spoken or uh, written down uh, words to a quiz and I won't be playing any music so therefore I haven't got to disclose that I'll, um, I've got any uh, copyrights. So are you ready to go? I've done this once already, I was making a good job of the last one as well but there you go. Let's pray that this doesn't um, <laughs> That's a clue, isn't it? I was pray that this doesn't uh, conk out. So, the first set of questions is about animal world. You write down one to ten and just write them down as I give them to you. Uh, and I'll read out the answers at the end. Okay, question one. Which animal which animal's home is called a dray. D-R-E-Y, a dray. Question one, which animal's home is called a dray? Um, question two, what is a female elephant called? Question two, what is a female elephant called? Question three. The lemur is a native to which continent? Question three, again, is the lemur is a native to which continent? Question four. Which bird is associated with uh, Lundy Island? <coughs> L-U-N-D-Y Island. Cheers. Right, that was question four. All right, question five. Brock. B-R-O-C-K. Brock. Is a native no, Brock is the alternative name for which animal? A Brock is the alternative name for which animal? That was question five. 
Question six. What sort of creature is a pipistrelle? Now I had problems pronouncing this when I did this quiz earlier on, where it all went dry. Pipistrelle is called, it's spelt <coughs> P-I-P-I-S-T-R-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, a pipistrelle. What sort of creature is a pipistrelle? Right, question seven. How many humps does a bacterian camel have? B A C T R I A N camel ham. How many humps does a bacterian camel have? That's question seven. Question eight. The pilchard is a member of which family? Read it again. The pilchard is a member of which fish family? That should have read. So, the pilchard is a member of which fish family? That was question eight. Question nine. What was Long John Silver's parrot called? wasn't Fred, but it kept on repeating itself. Ha oh. <clears> ha! <throat> Question 9. What was Long John Silver's parrot called? Question 10. What breed of dog did the TV detective Columbo own? Remember this TV series, Columbo? What breed of dog did the TV detective Columbo own? So what was the name of his dog? Or what was it a dog? What sort of dog was it? Not with his name. Could have been Fred for us, wasn't it? So I'll read that again. Question 10. What breed of dog did the TV detective uh, Columbo own? What type of dog was it? And that was your 10 questions from the animal world. Now if you missed any or misunderstood any, stop the, um, the video, go back to the beginning and start again and pause after each question to have a think about what the answers are. Now we're going to move on to the um, 60s. Now these are written questions, not uh, any sort of music. You won't hear no music. Um, I'll read out the questions and basically there's only one answer. But on at least two of the questions, I'm going to give you some bonus questions, bonus points. Now, you younger ones might have a problem with um, the 60s. But a lot of the questions are about very familiar pieces of music or very familiar bands. So I hope you do well. So question one, who had a 60s hit with Step Inside Love? Step Inside Love, who sang that from the 1960s? Question two, who was the main singer or singing star from the musical Half a Sixpence? Again, question two. Who was the main singing star from the musical Half a Sixpence? Question three. Now there's a different word pronounced here. Question three. Whose backing group were the Tirana Brass? That's how I pronounce it, but it's spelt T-I-J-U-A-N-A. I think the J is silent. So, question three. Whose backing group were the Tirana Brass? Right, okay. Question four. Which singer sang the theme tune Born Free from the 1966 film of the same name. 
So question four, remember the film Born Free, who is the singer who sang the theme tune? Right, question five. Who was the lead singer of the group Herman's Hermits? And it's not Mr. Hermit. No. So question five is, who was the singer of the group Herman's Hermits? I'll give you a clue there. He only got up in the mornings. <laughs> no, it doesn't like it. He only got up in the afternoons. <laughs> ah, gave the game away there, didn't I? So question five. Who was the lead singer of the group Herman's Hermits? Now question five and question no question six and question seven there are some bonus questions. Question six is which Liverpudlian group had a number two hit in 1963 with Do You Want to Know a Secret? I'll read the question again. Which Liverpudlian group had a number two hit in 1963 with uh, do you want to know a secret? So you want the name of that group. But for two bonus points, can you name the group that wrote it and also recorded it on their first album? I think you should know that one, but there you go. I'll read again. Question six. Which Liverpudding group had a number... Two hit in 1963 with Do You Want to Know a Secret? The name of the group and for bonus questions, who um, wrote the song and who recorded it on their first album? So there's three points there. Right, moving on to question seven. Another two bonus points for this one. The pop music TV show Ready Steady Go ran from 1963 to 1966. What evening was it broadcast? Was it a Friday or a Saturday? I'd read it again. The pop music TV show Ready Steady Go was who ran from 1963 to 1966. Was it broadcast on a Friday or a Saturday evening? And for two bonus questions for that one, there were two main presenters on that show, one male, one female. Can you name them? I saw one of them in 1959. Cliff Richard had his 30th anniversary concert at the old Wembley Stadium. And they had a set there called Ready Steady Go. And the female presenter appeared on stage. There you go. That dates me a little bit, doesn't it? Anyway, that was question seven. Basically, when name uh, ready steady go, was it on a Friday or a Saturday? And for extra points, you want to name the male and female presenters. Right, question eight. Who were the backing group on most of Elvis Presley's early hits? I think this is where my battery ran out last time when I did this question. I'll do it again. hope it doesn't run out this time. Right. Question eight. Who were the backing group on most of Elvis Presley early hits? That's question eight. Question nine is a sad one. Which Rolling Stone guitarist drowned in a swimming pool 
in 1969. Too much wacky backy, I think. Question nine is, which Rolling Stones guitarist drowned in a swimming pool in 1969? And finally, question 10 from the 60s music is, who sang the theme song from the 1966 Bond film, Thunderball? Whoever it was, must have a good voice. <laughs> right, that I'll read that last one again. Who sang the theme song from the 1966 film, Thunderball. Right, that's your two sets of questions. Ten from the animal world and ten from uh, the 60s music. And you haven't got to wait for another video to find out the answers because I'm about to give you the answers now providing the battery doesn't go on my camera. Anyway, he says, so have you got your answers written down 1 to 10 and 1 to 10 here's the answers to the first 10 questions questions uh, animal world question one was which animals home is called a dray and it's a squirrel it's where he keeps his nuts believe me Question one was, which animal's home is called a dray? And it's a squirrel. Question two, what is a female elephant called? And it's a, a cow. Shouldn't have made a trunk call to find that one out. <laughs> Question two is, what, a fem what is a female elephant called? It's a cow. Question three, the lima is a native to which continent and is South American or South America. The lima is a native to which continent and it's, a, it's from South America. Question four, which bird is associated with Lundy Island, Lundy, L-U-N-D-Y, Lundy Island, and the answer to that is a puffin. Um, question five, or question four, which bird is, is associated with Lundy Island? It's a puffin. Question five, Brock, spelt B-R-O-C-K, is the alternative name for which animal? And it's a badger. A badger is the answer to question five. Question six, one of those awkward ones to spell or pronounce. Question six, what sort of creature is a pipistrelle? P-I-P-I-S-T-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And the answer is a bat, as in cricket, a bat. Those things are hung upside down from the ceiling. So the answer to question six is a bat. Question seven. How many humps does a bacterian camel have? And the answer is two. Bacterian, B A C T R I A N. How many humps does that bacterian camel have? And it is two. Question eight. The pilchard is a member of which fish family? And the answer is herring. The pilchard is a member of which uh, fish family? And it's a herring. That was the question, answer to question eight. Question nine. 
What was Long John Silver's parrot called? And it was Captain Flint, as in Flint equals. No, no, it's not. <laughs> right, question nine. What was Long John Silver's parrot called? And it was Captain Flint. And finally, from the animal world, question 10. What breed of dog did the TV detective Columbo own? What breed of dog did the TV detective Columbo own? And it was a, a Basset Hound. Basset licor licorice all sorts. Right, a Basset Hound was owned by Columbo, the t TV detective. And that was question 10. Right, moving on to the 60s, or 60s music, all written questions, so there's no singing, no music. I'll ask you the question, you can just write down the answer. And on two of the questions, there's some bonus points. So question one from the um, 60s. Who had a 60s hit with Step Inside Love? Who had a 60s hit with Step Inside Love? And it's the late lovely Stella Black. Stella Black had a hit with Step Inside Love. Question two. Who was the main singer or singing star from the musical Half a Sixpence? And the answer is Tommy Steele. So question two. What was the main singing star from the musical Half a Sixpence? And it was Tommy Steele. Right, question three. Whose backing group, group were the Tirana Brass? It got a J in that name, which don't get used. It's spelt T-I-J-U-A-N-A. Whose backing group were the Tierana Brass? And it's Herb Alpert. A-L-P-E-R-T. Herb Alpert. Right, question four. Which singer sang the theme tune to Born Free from the film of the same name? And the answer is Matt Munro. Matt Munro. So the question four is, which singer sang, sang the theme to Born Free from the film of the same name? It is Matt Munro. Question five. Who was the lead singer of the group Herman's Hermits? And it's, the answer is Peter Noon. He only gets up in the afternoon. Silly questions. Anyway, um, question five. Who was the lead singer of Herman's Hermits? It's Peter Noon. He was into something good, that bloke. Anyway, that's another story. <laughs> right, question six and seven. There was two, sets, two questions where you could gain bonus points. Right, question six. Which Liverpudlian group had a number two hit in 1963 with Do You Want to Know a Secret? Well, the answer is, and you get one point for this one, it's Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas. Billy J. Kramer, if you just want Billy J. Kramer, that's enough. But Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas had a number, number two hit with Do You Want to Know a Secret? But the bonus question I asked, who sung it first and who wrote it? Well, you could either put the Beatles or Lennon McCartney as who wrote the song. And the actual answer to the first bit is the Beatles recorded it on their first album. So the main point you'll get is Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas for the answer to the question of do you want to know a secret? 
but the Beatles um, recorded it on their first album and Lennon and McCartney actually wrote it. There you go. You learn something every day. Right, question seven is about a, a 60s um, TV a pop pro a program called Ready Steady Go. The pop music TV show Ready Steady Go ran from 1963 um, to 1966. It was was it shown on a Friday or a Saturday evening? That's your main number one point for the question. The two extra points. Can you name the male and the female presenters? The female was Kathy McGowan and the male was Keith Fordyce. There you go. I remember it well. Um, there's so many pop stars appeared on that. It's unbelievable from the 60s. Great show. Anyway. Question seven was what pop star, what pop music TV show, Ready Steady Go, um, ran from 1963 to 1966. Was it shown on a Friday or a Saturday evening? And the answer was it was shown on a Friday evening. That was your main point for your question. A Friday evening. And the two main presenters were Kathy McGowan and Keith Fordyce. They must be drawing, drawing their pension now. Right, question eight. Who were the backing group on most on most of Elvis Presley's early hits? And it was the, the Jordanaires. So question eight. Who were the backing group on most of Elvis Presley's early hits? And it was the Jordanaires. This is the same question number nine. Which Rolling Stone guitarist drowned in a swimming pool in 1969? And it was Brian Jones. Say that. Um, question nine. Which Rolling Stone guitarist drowned in the swimming pool in 1969? And it was um, Brian Jones. Ironically, the surname of the person on question 10 was also Jones. So question 10, who sang the, who sang the theme song from the 1966 film Thunderball? I said you've got to have a good voice. It was Tom Jones. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Who sang the theme song from the 1966 Bond film, Thunderball, and it was Tom Jones. Well, I got through there without the battery running dry by putting a spare battery in the camera, and it lasted. Well done. I will have to wait for the battery to charge up. It was in it, so I could do the quiz again. So... Again, this is October the, the um, 14th, I'm recording this. You should get this video um, via YouTube uh, down to Facebook page on the first Tuesday in November. Hope you enjoyed it. Had a bit of a laugh along the way. Not too many mistakes. And it, we got through it without the battery running dry. Well, I'll finish it there, and um, I won't be loading this up till tomorrow because I've got to wait for the other one to load up first. Anyway, I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye bye.